Key Point 1 The Ideal Diet for Weight Loss and Optimal Health Food is something so ordinary and usual, a part of our daily lives. At the same time, it can mean many more things, from essential energy to toxic addiction. Our relationships with food often affect how we feel about our bodies, giving us confidence or taking it away. Whether it's the question of weight loss or muscle gain, everyone is trying to uncover the big secret behind it all. What approach should I take to my diet? Dr. Furman offers his formula to answer that question, basing his approach to food on its nutritional value. The nutrient per calorie density is also the most critical factor in his weight loss routine. This ratio is expressed as nutrients divided by calories equals health. The higher your nutrient consumption, the better your health. The nutrient value of your food is more important than the calories you consume. Protein, fat, and carbohydrates are three sources of calories in your food. But your nutrients come from other sources including vitamins, fibers, minerals, etc. Eating high nutrient foods is essential to maintaining a healthy diet. Many people do not understand this simple truth about weight loss, so there's a need for mass education. The change you desire depends on your ability to understand these concepts. When you truly understand the role of nutrients in weight loss, you will find it easier to eat healthily. Start taking your health seriously right now to prevent more significant health crises later on. Everyone wants a disease-free body. We're all in search of effective ways to keep our bodies disease-proof. Many people know they can become fit by changing their diets and exercising, but they lack the willpower to act. This summary will serve as the foundation of knowledge you need to start building a healthier body, showing the results you could achieve if you change your diet. Key Point 2 Junk food prevents you from maintaining good health and causes obesity. Americans consume a lot of junk food. These foods are referred to as junk because of their low nutrient value. They're also the number one reason for the rise in obesity within America, which costs its healthcare system $100 billion yearly. And most terrifying of all, people with obesity account for a two-fold increase in the mortality rate in the U.S., Obesity is a significant health crisis in the U.S. and a rising issue worldwide. Treating obesity is difficult for physicians for several reasons. Both primary care physicians and specialists find it challenging to make positive strides in the health of their patients with obesity due to junk food availability and addiction. Many studies reveal that even patients who manage to lose weight at first regain weight later on. People suffering from obesity may see attractive methods to deal with it fast. Instead, they get dangerous surgeries or start following diets that offer a temporary solution. The major problem with these methods is that people gain weight once they stop dieting. The results of a well-planned diet tie to a faithful adherence to its rules. People are bound to stray, so they end up worse than when they started. Drug companies have tried to manufacture and market drugs to solve the obesity problem, but these efforts achieved little. Most bodies react negatively to such methods as they are temporary and don't result in long-term lifestyle changes. If you don't make significant changes in the foods you choose to consume, taking drugs prescribed by physicians will not improve your health or extend your life. Joel Furman The only solution is to reduce or completely eradicate the consumption of disease-causing and addictive foods from our diets. Today, enough evidence is irrefutable showing that one can increase one's lifespan through dietary restriction and mindful nutritional habits. Did you know, according to a research paper by Dr. Albert Stunkard and Mavis McLaren-Hume, 95% of dieters return to junk food after achieving their weight loss goals. They end up rebounding and gaining even more weight than they lost. Following a diet doesn't always equate to changing your nutrition mindset. Key Point 3 Whenever you eat processed food, you exclude essential nutrients from your diet. Fruits are an indispensable part of our diets. Numerous studies have shown the protection fruits offer against terminal illnesses such as cancer. Fruits are an excellent addition to your diet, fighting against aging and brain deterioration. Recent research has shown that fruits such as blueberries contain anthocyanins which prevent aging. 
Some studies have also found that fruits can prevent cancer and heart disease. Increasing consumption is always a good idea, especially in their raw form. So instead of drinking orange juice, opt out for eating an orange instead, and you'll get less sugar and more nutritional value. At the same time, processed carbohydrates have a far lower percentage of micronutrients than fruits, including fiber, vitamins, and minerals. This deficiency directly results from processing, removing those essential nutritional elements from the picture. A study of 65,000 women who ate processed and natural carbohydrates for six years revealed that those who ate processed carbohydrates were two and a half times more likely to develop type 2 diabetes than those who consumed high-fiber foods. Once carbohydrates are processed, they lose touch with natural nutrients. Your bloodstream absorbs them rapidly whenever you consume them, increasing the glucose levels above normal. Your body enters a state of stress. Your pancreas starts pumping out insulin to keep up with the glucose. Your body ends up demanding even more insulin over time. In such a way, your body fat keeps growing, increasing the risk of diabetes. To lose weight, avoid processed foods. Refined carbohydrates are a food group directly affecting your body's health, so you should be mindful when consuming them. You probably often eat such meals, including pasta, bread, and other flour-based foods. White rice is also as low in nutritional value as pasta and white bread. Those foods convert into body fat faster while stimulating your appetite even more. You always seem to need more of them. The more you consume, the more you want it. Ingredients that contribute most to obesity as a result are the ones containing some butter-sugar flour mix. Key point four. The invisible danger of animal proteins. A correlation exists between protein consumption and heart disease. We can see this clearly when you consider the incidence of plasma apolipoprotein B, an element in high content that increases your risk of heart disease. The chances of an individual developing high levels of apolipoprotein B are enhanced by the massive consumption of proteins and lowered by vegetable consumption. In addition, protein also increases cholesterol levels, while vegetables decrease it. The correlation between animal protein and blood cholesterol is the reason why people who are on low-fat diets do not experience significant drops in cholesterol levels. People should drop all animal protein consumption to drop their cholesterol levels effectively. Animal protein can increase your chances of colon cancer if you consume large quantities of it. A study conducted several years ago examined the eating habits of 36,000 adults. The study aimed to determine the role of diet in developing cancerous cells. The respondents were randomly divided into groups. One was ordered to exclude red and white meat from their diet, and the other didn't receive any dietary recommendations. The group that avoided red and white meat had a lower incidence of colon cancer. Any meat contributes to many health issues, so try to avoid it or replace it with healthier alternatives. Fruits and vegetables are the foods with the highest correlation to longevity. But this doesn't refer to a vegetarian diet, but to the consumption of fresh fruit and raw green salad. Many Americans prefer to risk their health, hoping that the pharmaceutical industry will provide medication. Any pharmaceutical company that can reduce cancer rates by 80% or more will be the wealthiest company of all time. But we do not have any company like that. Therefore, it is in your best interests to take advantage of this life-extending gift. Eat your fruits and vegetables. Studies continue to provide evidence that more than any other food, fruit is associated with lower mortality from all cancers combined. Joel Furman We waste billions of dollars in donations on a so far impossible to find cure. It is high time we deal with the root cause of the illness. It is the only way to secure a win. Did you know, soy and beans offer lots of nutrients for fighting and preventing cancer. They can protect you against reproductive cancers, such as breast and prostate cancer. Key point five. High carbohydrate foods keep your caloric intake low while keeping track of your fats. Carbohydrates are the natural source of energy for our bodies. They are an essential fuel for human beings. Carbohydrates power the daily activities of our brain and muscle cells. That's why foods containing non-refined carbohydrates are the most nutritious, providing lots of fiber and negligible calories. Fat contains 5 calories more per gram than protein or carbohydrates, 
Balance your diet based on the nutritional value of each macronutrient. You can enjoy this carbohydrate without worrying about a significant calorie level rise, as they are whole and unprocessed. So opt for whole wheat products like brown rice, oatmeal, and quinoa, and integrate them into your diet. The high fiber content of unprocessed carbohydrates yields more satisfaction and a sensation of being truly filled with your food. The additions we make to our carbohydrates are why we perceive them as fattening. Carbohydrate alone is not fattening. It is healthy. For instance, a cup of mashed potatoes consists of just 130 calories, but a simple addition of one tablespoon of butter will total 230 calories. Macronutrients, protein, fat, and carbohydrates are just as crucial for maintaining a good nutritional balance as micronutrients, vitamins, and minerals. Meats, dairy, and oils are calorie-rich foods. However, these foods are not the most filling ones. So, we consume large amounts before we achieve satisfaction, resulting in a compilation of calories within our system. Your body burns 23% of the calories you consume to convert the glucose from carbohydrates into fats. However, food fat translates into body fat much faster. Your body can easily convert 100 calories of consumed food fat into 97 calories of body fat. Food fat is not processed or modified before your body stores it, resulting in weight gain. That's why being mindful of the amount of fats you consume is a good idea. It is not about obsessing over every group of macronutrients or measuring their grams precisely, but rather educating yourself and understanding the nutritional value of foods you consume regularly. Key Point 6 Beware of Addiction Food toxins can be just as dangerous as drugs. When your body becomes accustomed to toxic substances, it is called addiction. You'll notice pleasurable emotions whenever you indulge in the consumption or use of these substances. However, if you stop consumption, you'll feel ill as the body will begin to repair the damage caused by toxic substances. This stage is known as withdrawal. An excellent way to fight withdrawal is to distract the body. You can do this by increasing your food consumption rate. Digestion reduces withdrawal symptoms. During withdrawal, people often lose their appetite as they focus their desires on the substance they are withdrawing from. In these cases, the body uses stores of glycogen to fuel the body. When these stores run out, they'll experience true hunger. If food does not arrive on time, the body will begin the gluconeogenesis process breaking down muscle tissue to obtain glucose. Body withdrawal symptoms from food are similar to those from drugs. Glucose is not an ingredient produced by your body. It is how glucose goes through it. First, the body stores fats and amino acids from muscle tissues. The second is not good for the body, so the body uses it as a last resort. However, before the process begins, the body will send signals called true hunger. In the absence of a suitable response, gluconeogenesis will begin. Signals from our throat, neck, and mouth indicate true hunger, while our stomach and head warn us about dehydration. True hunger is not as uncomfortable as it sounds. It makes food taste better and eating much more pleasurable. In this phase, the body is prepared to digest food and your digestive enzymes are in place. That's why there are lower chances of overeating when you experience true hunger. At the same time, toxic hunger, one that occurs during withdrawal, is not nearly as pleasant. It can result in migraines, fatigue, irritability, stomach cramps, and bloating. Avoid this by eating the proper amounts of nutritionally rich foods at the appropriate time and being mindful about the foods you consume. After all, your diet is the key to longevity, health, and happiness. Conclusion A healthy diet isn't a complicated secret to unlock. It also shouldn't become an obsession, but a way to make your body feel good intuitively. Basic knowledge about the balance of macro and micronutrients and nutritional values of food and how your body processes them will give you enough information to maintain good health and prevent health crises. Pay attention to your macro and micronutrients. 1. Maintain a good balance of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. 2. Avoid heavily processed foods. In this way, your body won't get used to overproducing insulin and body fat. And 3. Be creative with your cooking and explore the joy of natural, unprocessed tastes and flavors. Otherwise, you can develop food addiction, intoxicating your body with food that harms you in the long run. The same goes for refined carbohydrates or excessive amounts of meat. 
By avoiding these food groups or consuming less, you can maintain a healthier diet and lose excess weight. Another easy way to maintain optimal health is to avoid adding excessive salt. The average person can consume up to 5 or 10 times more sodium than recommended, resulting in higher blood pressure over the years. Just because you don't have high blood pressure right now doesn't mean you won't. Reducing salt consumption will lower the risk. And remember, maintaining a healthy diet is not a chore. Approach it creatively and explore your nutrition options while striving for balance and feeling good in your body. Try this. Avoid eating and snacking when you do not feel true hunger. Listen to your body. Stop eating if your stomach feels full. Opt for lighter dinners. They will ease the process of digestion. And reduce salt or highly processed foods. Fruits and highly nutritious meals should replace the urge to consume them.